guys, we're guys doing a Venom deck profile. This is actually the full deck. Um, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and get started with this. So, Venom Serpent, uh, very, very good. Uh, he's basically one that adds a Venom counter to your punish monster. So, he's the one that can also attack the same turn. Um, so, which also makes him pretty good as well. Uh, and then also, before I continue more into this video, uh, if my Wing Dragon Raw stuff doesn't come in by tomorrow, before I go to the tournament, this should be the deck that I'll be playing at the tournament. But if it does come in, but if my Wing Dragon Raw does come in before I go, then I will be playing that deck. So, just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. Alright, so Venom Snake. This is basically the same thing as Venom Serpent, where it adds a counter, but it cannot attack. So, um, yeah. So, pretty good. But just a little bit of downfall where you can't enter your battle phase with that card, so. Or where you can't attack with it anyway, so. Three Venom Cobra. Uh, just another big defender. Um, not a target for offering to a snake daddy, so. And then, for my only one tribute monster, uh, monster that I run is Venom Boa. Uh, just because I don't like dead drawing it a whole lot with two or three. Uh, I was like running one, so. Um, yeah. And then, three Venom Swamp. Uh, very, very good. It's been making a lot of people frustrated, so. That's a really, really good twist ball. And then Book of Moon. And then that will round off the Monsters and Spows. Um, now for the Traps. Triple Offering to a Snake Daddy. Uh, very, very good card. Uh, you basically tri uh, destroy a Reptile to destroy one, two, uh, spells, or two cards on the field. So it's basically like a, um, Icarus attack for uh, but for reptiles, so which is actually very very good. And then triple ambush fang. Uh, this basically negates the attack, or uh, negates the battle phase, and then it adds a bam counter to your punch monster, which is actually very very good. So. And then this next card is the one I've been getting hyped up about. Is Van Burn. The, that card's insane. Um, because basically, if you guys saw my replays that I did, especially the one with the Van Burn, it's just crazy. Because basically, you remove the counters and then you burn your opponent for 700 for each counter that's on there, which is already crazy. And. Yeah, it's just not fun to deal with. And I've actually gained some people from them being down low on life points just, just from poking with a thousand attack and then flipping that and winning the game. So, it's been crazy. So, yeah. And then, three Blaze Mirror Force. Uh, you can also run the regular Mirror Force plus some other, like, MST and stuff like that. That works also just as well, too. Um, but Blazing Mirror Force, I've actually gamed so many from that, and I actually won the whole match, so, it was, Blazing Mirror Force is not a card to reckon with either. <laughs> Storming Mirror Force, uh, also just as good as well. Um, Storming Mirror Force bounces stuff to your opponent's hand, Blazing Mirror Force, it destroys it, and then inflicts damage equal to half the attack of your opponent's monster, so... Which is really, really quite nice. Ordeal of a Traveler. Uh, one card that's been making a lot of people mad as well. That I play. So. But basically if, when they attack. I can just flip it. And they have to cho choose a card in my hand. And if they cho choose it wrong. Then it goes back to your, their extra deck or their hand. And if they call it right. Then you know. It goes through. Or, what you can do is, if they have a bill of board, 
you can activate Blazing Mirror Force or Storming Mirror Force before Ordeal goes off. So, and then two finish chains, just good. Um, not as good as what Polite Wench was, but it's still a good card, yeah, not an S. Uh, 2D Prison. I said not as good as what it once was, but I still like it, so it's handy to have. Two Trap Hole of Spikes. Uh, this is another good card. Um, at least for just a two of, you can run one or two. Three of, eh, not really. But um, basically what it does is that when a monster is normal, normal or special summon this turn, and it actually attacks, it destroys it and then inflicts damage equal to half the attack of that monster to your opponent. So, I say it's good, but it, I like that too, so it's one or two of, in my opinion. So, warning, just good. Bombless, also just good. Uh, compulse, like I said, just good. Good staple traps. And then one macro. So, yeah. That's basically the deck. It's a 40 card deck. Which I've been really, really liking a lot. So. But, um, yeah. So, that's basically my Venom deck. I would say that this deck is competitive. At least at a locals level. Not regionals at all. I mean, unless if you just get lucky and you, you know, take it and you get first place with it. Which, you know, 99%. I would probably say 1% chance that would probably happen, but, you know, crazier stuff has happened, so. But, at a local level, I would say that this is kind of competitive, so. But, um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And, yeah, stay tuned for the Ring Dragon Raw deck. I'm excited to show that to you guys. Um, it's going to be really really fun to record and it's gonna just be awesome so stay tuned for that and yeah i will catch you later all right later guys